Byron Driscoll on Gran Turismo 6. Now, this time out, we're going to be doing the insane drift class, which is featuring the Pagani Hawaii. I think I said that properly. Now, I'm going to dispel any preconceptions you might have about this lesson. It isn't as hard as it looks. It really isn't. Really, you've got nothing to worry about. Just follow some of these tips and tricks and hopefully you should find this part more than tenable and more than enough fun to go out there drifting. Okay, so here's the beast itself, the Pagani Hawaii. Let's get into the settings so you can apply these to your own. Running Comfort Softs, purely because it needs that extra support from more grip. Suspension. Every single number is pretty critical to this car because, as you'll probably notice throughout this setup on the car, it's pretty much an effort to tame the beast because that's essentially the job at hand you have to try and drift the Hawaii. So, you won't see many flamboyant settings, it's mainly to make it as safe as possible to drift, if safe is the right word. I think safe is the right word actually. The gearbox is quite short gears as you'd expect but not too short that like it just bounces off the rev limiter constantly when you're drifting. Drivetrain. Now initial torque is set quite low compared to what you would normally see in the drift setup purely because it has so much torque that you don't really need all of it. You know, got more than enough to spare a little. So acceleration sensitivity, that's just a little bit off 60. So you've got a little bit of cushion in there and your braking sensitivity on 11. Now probably the most important section is the power options. Now as you'll probably see, you'll think, eh, you've not done anything. It's purely because you don't need all the power that's available through upgrades. 768, which is running its current configuration, is more than enough as you will see. And it makes it a much more pleasant and enjoyable experience to go sideways. Now I do have a spoiler on it, but of course I've turned the aerodynamics down to as low as possible. Uh, also a little bit of ballast there, just purely to give the front a bit more stability. You don't have to have the number 69, I only uh, picked that because I'm a, I'm a child. I'm a child. Or oh, somebody recently put, they went, um, OTT, learn how to spell, kid, okay? One, I'm not a kid. Two, I can spell. Three, piss off. Here's your driving options. I use manual, of course. Comfort Soft has already explained the reason why they're on. You don't really need anything. I mean, by now you shouldn't need any of this stuff. Now, the main thing you need to notice is the throttle controls. As you'll see, mid-corner, I'll be using a lot of gentle throttle inputs. So I'll be constantly on and off it, and I'll be balancing it. Right here, it's just a case of pretty much hold the steering full opposite log. And then it's about using the throttle, as pretty much you should already know for drifting, for more advanced drivers. It's more about use the steering in one position and then use your throttle and brakes to determine the line of the drift. But also remember, with my technique, I also use the gears to affect the line of the, of the drift as well. As I've already explained, shift up to make it spread out longer, so to extend the drift, to shorten it, tap the brakes, where well, you don't need to all time tap the brakes, but mainly is to drop gears. So for example, we're going to this first corner, I'm going in at four. A little bit of brakes there, now I'm running wide, so I've let go of the throttle a bit there, now I'm pumping the throttle again, I'm just going to drop it to third, because it tightens up. For lock is it lock, and when you get to this point right here, you need to be off the throttle and just get point in the right direction before you try hitting the gas again. This car, you do have to be on edge. You have to be constantly aware because the main thing you've got to watch out for is the severe out kick. So, like in a way, like a bull kicking out. You just have to keep an eye out for that. It's it doesn't come up often, but. If you're getting a bit too over eager going into corners, it will bite you. Right, so this corner is third gear. Pumping the throttle, pretty much full opposite lock. I just let go of the steering sometimes. 
as you probably already know, you let go of the steering mid-drift to tighten it up. So basically what you've, in effect, you're doing is letting the back end come out more and it tightens the drift. But it's okay, so when you do that, always be ready with your steering with the opposite lock because that's the point where if you go past the point of no return, you are going off and you are going to spin. Here, tap the brakes, weight transition, into fifth to extend it, and I'm going to drop to fourth because we're coming back in then into third. Now obviously I went back into fourth there to push it back out wide because we have an elongated exit. Hopefully you have many hours of fun with the mail wire up. I mean it truly is an awesome experience. Sure it's not running at over a thousand horsepower but who cares, you're running over 700 horsepower, you're going sideways and creating a ton of smoke. I feel sorry for anybody who's going to follow you in an open lobby <laughs> behind that Pagani wire up. They're not going to be able to see a thing. But yeah, go out there, have fun, practice with it. It shouldn't take you too long to get used to. Hopefully it brings a massive smile to your face. Yeah, so let's remember those tips, guys. Just be very gentle with the throttle at certain points in the corner, especially mid-corner. Normally you have to be quite aggressive on the throttle to get it out initially, but after that it's very poised and balanced. So it shouldn't be too hard, it's just more a case of throttle control. So just keep that foot very light. No Jeremy Clarkson's with your power, because this will happen. You're facing the wrong way by the Baron. Yeah, I know, I know, I did a Jeremy. Got too much power, sorry to myself. You might think that it's not fully upgraded and it's not a thousand horsepower that would be a lot easier to do, but it's still got its angry side. It's still got that bear within that just wants to claw your face off. And there it goes again. Naughty bear. Baron Von shit himself. I just want to take a quick little moment just to say thank you to all my hardcore followers and subscribers that never miss a beat. I really do appreciate all your support. And um, to all the people that are following Baron's Driscoll, thank you and please keep at it. I mean, I'm here to try and help you in as many ways as possible and I mean that genuinely. So for now, hopefully you won't see the last of me, hopefully I'll see you again soon. Until then, good boy! Still quite an angry car, don't get me wrong, I haven't tamed it completely. There is still a wild side to this animal. So, do expect it to uh, try biting your leg off from time to time, but apart from that, it's like owning a pet bear, a pet grizzly bear. Then trying to go drifting in it, or on it. <laughs> I won't go, uh, in a bear? Oh, uh, that's in the out Right, let's get the first corner because I'm too busy thinking about a bear.